Okay, everyone, welcome back to Alone in the Dark, the second run, this time with Emily. And... What? What's going on? Whoa, they warped me back. Okay, I was like, what? They warped me back a room. That's what's going on here. I was confused. I was like, huh? Because remember, we did walk out of there, and then I saved. So they auto-saved me in this corridor. But now we're going back. All right, all right. I got scared there for a second. I was like, oh, don't tell me something happened, and they, they destroyed my progress. No, this is where we should be. If you remember, we came out here, and we did go through this, right? Yeah, see, because there's the enemy we killed. We went through there, and we got the items that were there. So if I'm remembering correctly, what we need to do next is, because we came out of there, what we need to do next is we have to go into one of these side mausoleums, and this will lead us downstairs, I believe. And I think that's going to take us where we need to go. Although there are two of them. And now I'm wondering which one. I think if you go through one, you can get some items. And, and the other one takes you story advancement. I think this is the story advancement. You mind, there's no map here. I can't really remember. So let's, let's test it. Let's go this way first. I think they give you the bullets to try to give you a hint that this is the way you gotta go first. Got one. Oh god, he actually grabbed me. Holy shit, he's still not dead. Okay. That was a tricky son of a bitch. They were on my ass, and I used all my pistol ammo on them. Two of them. Jade, well, I'm doing good, although I just got mobbed by a bunch of uh, disgusting freaks. But I am doing well, and I, I thank you for being here tonight. I think this is this pops us out, I believe, the other way. Because we need to go down here to get one of the plates, I think. Yes, there it is. So we have to get that plate, and then we go back up top. I'm not going to grab the plate yet, because I want to investigate further. Thank you, King Michael. This is happy belated birthday. Oh, remember this guy? He scared us when we were, uh, when we were Carnby. But I think he goes away now. Yeah, see, he just jumps out for a second, then he leaves. Nice. This is how we get back up. I guess I should go grab the plate now. I didn't grab it yet. Yeah, see, now this is open. I think this comes out the other side. Yep. Now, wait, I didn't grab the plate. The enemies are supposed to spawn here, but I didn't grab... I didn't grab the plate! Oh, this is bad. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm good now. I can go down. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the enemies into a choke point. That worked very well. I have no ammo, but it worked incredibly well for what I wanted to do. Now I can go grab the plate. So, definitely doing better than the first run simply because I remembered what was coming. I remembered they were going to jump out at me there. I was able to adjust. And not get jumped. Very good. Let's look up the tentacle arm. He swings real far. But he didn't even have a chance to swing. I just fucked him up. Okay, so now we have the two. And I think we just have to go all the way back now. To the puzzle where we had started. 
That was where we went down. I right, should go back this way. Oh, you can't. You can't go back that way. I guess we gotta go full circle the other way then. Now, wait a minute. Where do we go then? Let's think about this. So, wait. This way? Was this opened? I'm losing my bearings here. Where's the area where you shimmy through? There it is. I've completely lost my bearings. Maybe you gotta go through here. Maybe now there's a gate. I don't think so, though. Don Fanucci says he loved the Callisto protocol system. He felt it was revolutionary. I thought it was good. I mean, I wasn't massively in love with it. Oh, here's some more ammo. Good. I wasn't massively in love with it. But at the same time, I thought it was something completely different. It felt like something fresh. And that's always good to have something fresh over something overdone or, or you know, too samey. I didn't feel like it was samey at all. I thought they were doing something different, and I liked that. Do you know what it is? That's where we came in. That's where I came out there and there. So one of these is new. I think this is now new. This one. This one opened up. The guy lit on fire and then he came out of there. And that's where we got to go. Make sure I didn't miss anything there. No, I didn't. So this is where we're going to be going now. Down here. This is a new area. See? This is totally new. Uh, I received a dollar tip. From Kirk, I thought Emily was the chick from the Source Code movie. Have you ever seen that? I don't know what you're talking about, so no. I don't know what that is. What is the Source Code movie? Never heard of it. And by the way, the chat is incredibly quiet tonight. I don't know why. Everything all right in the chat? No one's talking right now. Everyone fall asleep? Yeah. No falling asleep during a survival horror game. It's not allowed. Pistol bullets, pistol bullets. Is this, if I remember correctly, we're going to turn the corner, turn back, and this is going to be gone, and this is the area you have to run through because there's enemies chasing you. Let's see if I'm right. Not yet. Maybe once you use both plates for the puzzle. How do you rotate? Here we go. That's what it is with that noise. Yup, it caved in so now you can't go back. Okay, so this is where there's gonna be a couple items, but then there's gonna be a ridiculous amount of enemies and you're not expected to fight them. You're expected to just run by them. Make sure there's nothing there. There was nothing there for Carmi. No, there's nothing here for her either. Now we run. They come. Now with Carnby, I went left. I'm gonna go right when I get to a juncture here and see what happens. Oh, this is different. I can't. There we go. You know what though? I think it's the same area. It is. Did you see that? So basically, it doesn't matter if you go left or right. There, you end up at the same outcome. You go out the same way. Okay. At least we know that, because I was nervous that with Carnby I had missed something in the first run. But I guess I have not missed anything. It looks like they both will leave the same exact place. Yep. Okay, and there's no items around, so I guess we didn't miss anything. Alright, good. Oh, uh, Noct, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> well, there's the third, and that's how we're going to get into the final area of the Here mausoleum. So, I'm of the impression we didn't miss anything here. Originally, I thought we did miss stuff with Carnby, but I don't think we missed anything this time. I think I'm pretty confident we had gotten all the items in the area. I made it out. 
That's the way back. This is where we had started, if you remember. This hole was not there when we started. If you run back here, this should just get us back to the hole that you shimmy through. I believe. Yes. It's all... Okay. Oh, look. It's the woman who's dead. Do we find it with her now? There she is. Oh, God. Yep. Cassandra Beauregard, she's dead. And we found out that she got murdered. This is the author. We also found this with Carnby. It's like an Easter egg. You wouldn't. You don't have to come over here to find this. But with Carnby, there was an item to pick up. I don't see any item with Emily. So I guess the item, we've gotten it. And we don't need to grab it a second time. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Nothing to interact with, so... I guess we're good. It's good to have you here tonight, Jay. Let's head up. More puzzles on the other side. Where we come from. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Oh, so they're all going to fit together. We know that. We just got to figure out how to arrange them. So the bird, obviously, is going to be up top. Oh, uh, I guess not. The hand should be on top for sure. There we go. The hand should be facing up. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So you never get to meet this woman. Either, either side runs, she's dead already. Is that you? Ah, Jeremy. here's a new cutscene. What are you doing here? But you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. A pact to keep New Orleans safe with my own life as tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There's nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? <laughs> How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman and I know about Tarawaya. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't speak. <laughs> He's here. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who, Emily? He took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. Behind you. Emily! The... <laughs> Back in the mansion. Tarawea. Why do you want to go there, Jeremy? Uh, yeah. Garth Hobbit says, I like how she says, oh, the Dark Man's not real, yet she's been shooting monsters the entire time. <laughs> right. Exactly. She totally doesn't get that things could be possibly be real that don't seem real, right? Like, <clears throat> my everything. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this... So we're talking about Teruella. We got the luggage key. We got to get open the luggage in his room. I need to find out more about Jeremy's pack with the Dark Man. He meant to go to Tarawea. Maybe there is something there that would help. The weird thing is, she was not in this room earlier, and we did puzzles in this room, right? She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. We don't find out. Do we? We never find out what happened to her. She's the one who's always dead in the story. Weird. All right. So really, the next thing to do is to go open his luggage and then see where that leads.
what would David Harbour be up to at this point in the game? See, here's the thing. This, the two sides of the story are not equivalent because in the in David Harbour's run, he's doing what she's doing, you see? So there is no proper crossover. It's each character is doing what the other one isn't in their side of the story. It's not like Resident Evil 2 where each character has their own completely separate but simultaneously happening story. It's actually not like that. So, you Corporate is thinking of finally buying Switch at this point. Should I get wait for the Switch 2? Uh, I don't know. I have no. I don't know what to tell you there. We have no idea when Switch 2 is coming out. We don't know what's going to be on it. We don't know if it's backwards compatible. We don't, we literally know nothing. So I don't know why you. If you want a Switch, I don't know why you would wait. We have no idea what's going on with the with the Switch 2. It's just a rumor. We have the lens for the telescope. The Barlow lens. The telescope lens. Well, why would he lock it in here? Jeremy had found a way to enter <clears throat> Tarawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start. That's right, if you go to Tarawea, that's how you get to but his she library. She never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons. And she died suddenly one day without... So basically, him. he was trying to get that other woman who's dead Holding to go and burn down his own library? Wow. Emily suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Uh, Tub Tub says, I've been playing Rise of the Ronin and beating Final Fantasy VII recently. It's like if Sekiro was an Ubisoft game, it's pretty good. I know, I saw someone play it for about three hours, and I got so bored watching it. I was like, I'm glad I didn't get it, because I think I would have probably very much disliked it um okay we need to get to the drawing room see we have the key that's why the, the puzzle piece is now green so the best course of action to do that would be go to main hallway go down the stairs and just go straight through the entirety of the building okay i think we still have the pallet thing because we can open another door with it but i can't remember what door it is that has the wedge is this the door that has the wedge no there's a door with a wedge, and that's what we have the pallet remover thing. Oh, God, I almost glitched into the door. But I can't remember what door it is. Because we were turboing through, and I, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> so we're still going to be stuck with that thing for a while. But we finally have to go through that door again. Okay, so here we're going to go straight the entire way. Straight shot, and then right at the library, and then into the drawing room to the telescope. Okay. There we go. All right, here we are. Lens time. it is. The star. Now, where does this take us? Tarawea? I can't remember. Oh. Find the talisman coordinates to Tarawea. Oh, it's a puzzle, right? Uh, yes, it's a puzzle. <laughs> Indeed, it's a puzzle. Uh. Rotate. Can't rotate? Oh, there's no rotating? So that's it's pretty straightforward then. There it is. Nine four one. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the library and Wait, we're gonna face going the on? dark man. It's entering the numbers by itself? Okay. Uh, great, so where is that? Good evening, Blythe. How are you? 
Good progress so far. Less than 20 minutes, and we are uh, making good, good story progress. I'm curious. Knowing what we know about the end of the game, does anything ever change in this room over the course of the game? Doesn't look like it, right? It looks like it always stays the same. Which is weird because people were saying if you make an offering... Wait a minute, do you see what I see? Are those makeshift graves in the back? They might be. Those might be makeshift graves in the back. But anyway, um... Someone had said when I was finishing my run with Carnby, if you make an offering to the wishing tree, uh, basically... Was... You will open in the dining room. Oh, the dining room. That's where we gotta go, huh? Where's the dining room? Okay, it's a new room. That we didn't have access to up to this point. We gotta go back through the library and back all the way that way. Okay. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah. In the Carnby run, we had been hinted to that there is a way to make an offering to the tree. And that changes stuff or something. Like, it changes the ending of the game. Like, well, how do you make an offering to the tree? I never saw that happen, right? Okay, straight and to the right. Oh, that's not it. No, to the left. This is it. But it's locked. So how do we get there? Dining room's from Grand Parlor. Right? And we can't get into the Grand Parlor. And we can't get into the... Well, maybe we can go into the mezzanine now. Okay, we have to go upstairs. And we have to get into the mezzanine, I believe. I think. I think that's what they're saying. Go upstairs and go to the mezzanine. So this way. I guess we'll see No Sleep Real Vibes. So far, I'm enjoying The Walking Dead. Retro React. Uh, the view, the videos are not getting as many views as Heavy Rain did on demand. Um, but the stream did well, so I guess we'll see if it continues to do well. This way. Nope. Okay, what about this way? No! How the hell do I get into the mezzanine? And then there's a door here, but that door's blocked. I, I gotta figure out how to get into the mezzanine, and I can't figure it out. Maybe it was the it was the other staircase. I think it was. I think I need to go around the other staircase. You see, this is blocked. I think I need to go around the other staircase, and I got screwed up. I gotta go up, and then there's another door there. That, that's where I think What's I used the pallet. Stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Warren says he likes the later episodes of The Walking Dead Season 1. They get better. The first episode's slow moving. Darth Hobbit, you have a good night. I'll see you Friday. I need the key. I don't have that. Well, I watched... Did I watch the Invincible finale? I haven't seen Invincible. No, I haven't seen any of Season 2 at all. I saw the first season. I thought it was pretty good. And then I just... When they split the seasons, I just didn't care anymore. I was like, I want to go up and watch a split season. So I never watched it. Maybe I'll watch it eventually. Here it's it is. Shot. That's what it was. That's what the pallet it knife worked. was for. Now, we can access the new rooms here. And the mezzanine. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing in there? You know, it's weird. The clock totally looks like it's going to be something, and it never is. But now we've unlocked the door, and we can come through when we want. Good. Now we go to the mezzanine. Now, originally, this is where Barnby met the girl, the woman, but we already talked to her. So, yeah, she's not here. Wow. 
She is not here now. She was drinking with Carnby, but she's gone now. Hmm. And here's the other funny part. So look down there. You can see the bottom floor is a mess, right? But remember, when Carnby went down there, it was a fully stocked bar with people in it. We were like, what? This is the stairwell. We're going to do that. I think that's what we're intended to do. But let's just make sure there's no other hidden items or anything here. Oh, nothing there. It's definitely a little creepier with uh, no one here to meet you. Some ammo. That's great. That's very good. We unlock. We unlock. So now this will also link to the other hallway. Now we have multiple ways into that hallway for later. Cool. All right. Now let's go to the stairwell. Now, originally, with Carnby, you had to go down. If you, you go up, you can't go up. If you remember, the attic is locked. I wonder with Emily if you can go to the attic. If it's different here. Let's find out. There? No. There's definitely noises in the attic, and it's playing ominous music, but you can't tell what it is yet. All right, we are going down then. I remember going down, this is how we end up at Tarawea. Aha, look, here's a new cutscene. teach piano as well? Huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? Uh -huh. How do you know about that? Just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. Yes. I taught them some piano. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. But you're not wrong. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Why is she hugging? Oh! Oh, shit! She stabbed her! <laughs> what just happened? I'm gonna go now. See you around. She drugged her? I think she drugged her. So are you now meant to think that you've been drugged? And maybe you're having hallucinations? She stabbed you with this, a syringe, a Lan Yap, and this is gonna complete the Great Depression Lan Yap set. So let's take a look at this. As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and debt. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name, for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was, of course, no such victim. He already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new, it was something that was always in him. Wow. Here. The medicine box key. But we already got that item. We already have that, and we've already done that part of the game. Yeah, see, this was for us to do the medicine box puzzle. But we don't need to do it anymore. We've already passed that. We're trying to get to the dining room. Right. Which is next. That's actually the next area we're at. So... If we had not sequence broken, we would have had to take this key, go all the way back to Lottie's room, get the medicine, go do the medicine puzzle. That would have given us the combination to get the next piece, and then we would have done the, the morgue after. The morgue puzzle would have been after. But we were able to jump to the morgue and sequence break and do that. We didn't have to do it this time. Now, according to this, it's still showing as pink, meaning there might be more in the room. This is the dining room. That's where we need to go next to go to Tarawea. Thank you. 
So this door is now locked. We can't get out to that hallway. The other one. Wait a minute. Which door was that? So then what about this one? Locked. Can't even access this one. Okay. So where did we come in from? Over here. Some ammo. Oh, good. I just want to double check and make sure we can't go all the way down because this is locked, correct? We don't need the key. We don't have the key. We're never gonna use the medicine box key. We already solved the puzzle. Because I think David Harbour did a great job in the game. So far, this actress who I'm not familiar with is also doing a good job. I feel. Alright, dining room. And then to tear away it. Hello. There is more of that unsettling rot. On the commonplace common of, place evil. of evil. There lies virtue. We already read that from the first playthrough. We don't need to read that again. Go. You said this is how we get to Tarawea. I'm pretty sure we're close to doing it. Let's go through this door. Okay. Oh, here we go. We unlocked it. All right. So the funny thing is, we kind of, again, we sequence broke because we never got the bottle from Lottie's room. Where do we use? The talisman has shown the gate will open in the dining room. We're in, ah, there it is. We had to leave and come back and now we can go to Tarawea. There we go. Okay, cool. Chapter three is pretty short if I remember correctly. It's Tarawea, the library. After that, I think it's the Eclipse and the Temple, and then you're done. And then you go back to the, I think you go back to the mansion and you're already in chapter four. Excuse me. You should not have come, Emily. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. As a manifestation of Jeremy's deepest desires. Jeremy. I am to you unfamiliar. Not Jeremy, Jeremy. Yet I know of you. <clears throat> Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? I am only his subconscious thoughts. I cannot speak for his totality. How come you have a Spanish accent? <laughs> and what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea, where Jeremy goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Jeremy once read a book of mine. It stuck with him. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Jeremy doesn't want you to. He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Dorsetto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Ha! Ah. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Jeremy will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their settle. Ah, so what the, about all the patients in the The staff? Dark Man was actually doing they something will not good. Stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Jeremy agree to this? Desperation, of course. Jeremy did not choose martyrdom lightly. Hmm. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy. And hopefully the people at Dorsetto. I realize I didn't my light What even is this on? evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. I'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? No. You're actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. Try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's here? You'll have to be very careful. Of course. I... I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. All 
All right. So in this next segment, you cannot do any combat. What you're doing is you're trying to sneak around and solve puzzles while the dark man's also there. So it gets pretty tense, but it's not a super long segment. It's only like, I want to say 20 minutes tops, if that. What is the Dark Man, do you know? The Black Sun. The stalker among the stars. The crawling chaos. No. Neither I nor Jeremy knows what he truly is. Hmm. I'm worried this is how it starts. That this is just madness enveloping me. I'm sorry. There is no compelling answer I can give you to dispel such doubts. What happened dinner tonight? Homemade Japanese beef curry that my wife made. It was delicious. Well, I've put this off long enough. Take care, Juan. You too, Miss Emily. I will cross my fingers and hope for the best. I'm just going to forewarn all of you. This segment coming up where you're sneaking through a library and the dark man is after you, the music gets insanely loud and everyone complained in my first run and I was like, I'm not sure what you want me to do. You just mute the whole stream. It's meant to be that loud. Like, it's that loud in my headphones too. It's supposed to add tension. So just to forewarn all of you who are headphone users and watching right now, either on stream or on demand, the volume's gonna go pretty crazy loud in just a few moments as we start this sneaking segment, okay? So get ready. <clears throat> That's right, I almost never eat beef of any kind, but we had a beef curry, it was very good. No? Very Tomb Raider ass. Oh. So again, I'm, in my first run, I know I grabbed some Lan Yaps, but I'm wondering if I missed any in the first run. Just jumping up and down. I don't see any there, right? There's nothing I missed, right? Is that all? No. Not a door there or anything. Looking for missing things that I didn't get in my first run. But if we go over there, I believe that that continues. Anything new here? No, not in the water. That I can see. It's supposed to be the Last Supper. It is, but it has nothing to do with the Last Supper. It's everyone, a king, looking at someone beckoning to them. Kind of weird. Statues of monks on the stairs. Turn the light off. There's something missing. We need a hollow cross. Great library. Lock away. You need a clue. We don't need to listen to that again. We already heard it in the first run. It's not any different. They're telling you to go up. That's where you gotta go. Later, you gotta come here when you have the key, I believe. The lighting is super good in this game. I will say that. Did a great job with that lighting. Very creepy. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get this in my first run. Oh, no. This is new. This? Here it is. A new Lan Yap Unmasked Evil. We now have the Beast of Burden set. Bull worship is common throughout history. For Christians, this can be seen in Exodus when the Israelites turned to worship a golden calf in Moses' absence. This passage shows the people falling back to the worship witnessed in Egypt, known as the Hapis Bull. Another famous example is, is the Minoans of the island of Crete. Their worship of the bull gave rise to the myth of the Minotaurus, the half-man, half-bull monster that reigned the labyrinth. Over this particular case, I think I should tell you about the deity Astarte that brought the Taurus constellation to life to attack Gilgamesh. Even for a mythical hero, this celestial bull would prove difficult to defeat. Only by distracting the bull with a golden sail was Gilgamesh able to pierce an eye with a spear which bled the bull to death. That is brand new. I mean, now, if you take a look, we basically have... All the world's a stage, one missing piece. And we have three we haven't found at all yet, dying with dignity. This leads me to believe this will be in the area that's just for her. We have everything else. So we have to look for whatever that is. It looks like something in a box, right? So I don't know where that will be. And then the final three are probably in the final area. We may actually get all the Linyaps. As long as we didn't miss this one, I think we're good. I think we might get them all. So 
I guess we'll find out. So I totally missed this one with Carnby. I, I not even for a second did I uh, think that there was something in this room. I never saw this hole in the wall. So that's a real tricky one, I would say. Yeah. Why do I need to adjust the neck phones? What are you talking about? Why do I need to adjust the neck phones? They're fine. Yeah. Oh, great. And by the way, we're about to get crazy because the dark man's about to appear. We're gonna grab this and then we gotta get moving. Here's the ladder that we're, we're gonna kick down. Here it comes. Oh, uh, it's not crooked, it is even. It's just that I'm gonna get out of here. Here he comes. So you see how loud it is, right? That's what the point I was making. Everyone says it's super loud. And yeah, it's super loud in my headphones too, but it's meant to be tense. There's a trick to doing this, but I don't know what the trick is. I can't remember how I did it the first time either.
I did it. Somehow did it. That was close. I did it. So, it's all about the timing. You have to run around enough until you have an opportunity to run by him without intercept. If you touch him, you die. You just have to not touch him and you're good. Okay. Good. I did better that time. I actually died. If I remember the first time around, I did die to it. But this time I didn't die good. Don't have to do it over. But... Looking around, see if there's any missing lawn yaps. I'm not seeing any. We got the one that we had missed the first run. Don't see anything else. I don't think it would be in this area. Okay. There it is. All right, nothing else here. All right. Wrapped. Good. Good, good. Good progress. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prex shipping company pressing their- Oh, that's where we're going next, the shipping company. I forgot about that part. Emily! Breath replacing mine. You should not have come in. Swagger so Nudo says Emily's way faster and has an actual weakness. Seems better than the other guy. More fun. More interesting when it comes to the gameplay elements, I guess. Well, if it isn't my new best friend. Come, join me for some giggle water. Now she's in the bar, which we saw was destroyed. This is where the piano was destroyed Ooh. earlier. But now look, at now it's all oh, Miss redone somehow. Don't tell me you've been out swinging without me. Mm. Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. The new cutscene. Tell me, Miss Hartwood, have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the Grand Parlor and suddenly here I am. The Grand Parlor? Can I get back to Dorsetto from here? <laughs> Are you sure you want to? We could stay here and drink the night away. How about a gin fizz? The she's smoking. She's smoking in like this every is scene. New Orleans. Maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Preg's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? <laughs> Jeremy talked a lot about the dark man. I always felt a bit envious. How so? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty to offer. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. You're too sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> You don't happen to know how to find the Preg shipping company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. Uh, like, whoa. Uh. Whoa, what happened? You just got lucky. <laughs> A bientôt, Mademoiselle Emily. Well, we didn't get to explore the bar. 
like we did with Carnby. Hey, do you know where my uncle is? No, but I bet you're close. I remember she got injected by the girl. So what was that she was injected with? They never really have explained it. It just happened. Oh, look. We just got a new Lanyat, by the way. Um, It's just weird to me that the girl injected her like that. And the game's just kind of like passing it off. And it's like nothing happened. She didn't get drugged. She's not, you know, what was that? I wonder if that's going to come into play in the story later. <clears throat> so we do have this Lanyat, but we already had this. This is from the first run. So technically we just got it a second time. Okay. The Dark Man He's enters. In the hot autumn. Craig's Shipping Company. All right, look for the address of the Dark Man show Craig's inside the shipping, shipping company. company. According to the book in the Great Library, they assisted a showman performing somewhere in New Orleans. I don't know where to go. There's going to be a lot of enemies in the area. Seven bullets, and I still had to hit the guy. There's a lot of enemies around here. I still keep these melee weapons there for now. Basically, her handgun sucks. It's really shitty. It's weak as all hell. Again, I get hit. <laughs> machine gun cartridge. We don't have the machine gun yet, but we get it soon. Yeah, we definitely get it soon. Well, looks like we're using the shoddy for now. Next, we'll pick up a replacement shovel. What's in the water? Crystal bullets. Let's go a full reload. Okay. So, can't get in here? Nope. This is just uh, for show. Go this way. There's a bunch of stuff to do over here. Next area open. Oh, good. We got a healing drink. You can get in there. It's locked, I remember. Wow, that was messy as shit. Now we have one shotgun shell left. That was so messy. So this is the puzzle over here. Just the bullets, good. Let's get that out. Good, we got some ammo. Excellent. This is that we need the uh, switch thing to do this. We don't have it yet. Or the key. We need the key. That's what we're looking for. The key to get that moving. That unblocks down there. And then we go down there. Remembering. Over here, this is just an uh, optional item. Yep, some more ammo. Good. or two around here. Go. Alright, we're going nice. That's how we get in, I remember. No. What are you doing? <laughs> What's up, my ruin? How you doing? Morning to you, even though it's night for me. Morning to you. Alright, we're going in. Key. In the door. Enemies? There were there were enemies the first run. No enemies this time? He still fucking hit me.
Even fully loading in with bullets, you still got me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's go do this. That's not it. Here we go. Here's the king. That lifts the cargo. What's up, Mark? How are you tonight? This is on his, his uh, lunch break. Cool. Thank you. Happy anniversary. I appreciate that. All done. Okay. I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm gonna die. Yep. If they do that, you're just dead. And I couldn't move. So I was stuck on a stupid barrel. So I gotta redo it from wherever the autosave is, which sucks. I don't know where the fucking autosave is. So I didn't do anything wrong. They all just spawned at once. And I uh, I had to basically get owned. Like, there's no option to not get owned there. I already have the key, apparently. Sewer level. Everyone say it. Hashtag sewer level. We're here again. <laughs> the obligatory sewer level in every four game. It must. There must be at least one. Here we go. Oh, nice. Those shoddy shells. I don't think there's a reason to awaken that guy. I don't think so. Because we did it last time, we had to fight him. I don't think you have to do it. Creepy bug creature out there. That's coming up later. Alright. They keep doing the stupid tooltip for throwables. I get it. The throwables suck. I missed it twice, according to the game. I can't move. I, I literally cannot move. Look, I'm locked in place and cannot fight. Ridiculous. You can't, You get stuck and you can't fight. You're just in an endless stun loop with some of these enemies. Sheesh. Okay. I think there's an item here. Yep. A healing drink, thank goodness. Okay, got out of there. So I remember now, we're heading into the warehouse, I believe, and in the warehouse, there's a super annoying puzzle that was driving me nuts. And it took me a little while to figure it out. Right. I wonder if I'll remember how to I do it this time around warehouse. quickly. Now let's find that address. And then after that, there's like a gauntlet of enemies, but you also get a really good weapon in here. Better heal. You're literally coming in here to get directions. It's the only reason you're in here. More items. No, I think we gotta go upstairs. Yes, we're going upstairs, I remember. Okay. Of course 1990s classic survival horror was great. What a silly question, Mark. How dare you ask me that? I'm very upset with you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Item. There's the Tommy gun. We got it. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. A Tommy gun!
So all his things, this, this is supposed to be, just shut this guy up, I don't want to hear it. This is supposed to be the combination to a safe, okay? But it really isn't, like... What is left, later is right, and hell is back again, okay? What is left, later is right, hell is back again. What the hell does that mean, right? <laughs> Right? So here's what it's supposed to be, because here's how dumb this puzzle is. What is four letters? So it's four left. Later is right, so it's five right. Hell is back, four left. How does that make any sense? That doesn't make any sense at all. So it's four, it's four, five, four, going right, left, right. It's the dumbest combination ever. So four left, five right, four left. That is the dumbest combination in history. I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure that out in my first run. Gotta go manifest on. There it is. We got the address. All right. This is it. The address to the theater where Jeremy first met the dark man. So this is a good place to split the part. I remember distinctly when we go downstairs, there's going to be a giant fight uh, downstairs to get out. And then we actually go to the address. And then after that, I think we get work to Egypt. We got the whole Egypt temple segment. So this is all otherworldly stuff before we get back to Derseto tonight. Um, I received a dollar tip from Kirk. Are you excited to see Fallout? I only lasted 15 minutes. I turned it off. Uh, yes, I am. I don't know why you turned it off after 15 minutes. I'm excited to see it tonight. I'm going to watch some of it tonight with my wife, and we'll probably watch it more over the week. It is eight episodes, correct? I'm assuming each episode is probably like 45 minutes or something like that. So we'll probably watch it two, two episodes a night, maybe three over the course of the week, and I'll probably maybe this weekend review it. We'll see, depending on time. Okay. Time for a break. We'll be back with more Alone in the Dark.